back in episode 4, I showed you how I use this Tinray charger which is connected to my iCharger. So I can charge 10 cells, or in my case, pairs of cells, in series and balance charge the whole lot in one chunk. And that's what I did for my 2 kilowatt pack. One of the drawbacks is that the iCharger will not charge anything that is below 2.8 volts but um, we know from experimentation that you can bring back cells below that. I did some data on how good cells are that are measured below 2.8 volts and it turns out that um, some of them are absolutely fine, some of them are crap. There doesn't seem to be any difference between a cell that you first measure to be 1 volt versus a cell that you first measure to, to be 3 volts. It doesn't seem to influence the resulting capacity that you measure. So the, the 2.8 volt threshold, whilst it might be sensible, doesn't seem to actually um, correlate in the real world to a threshold between good and bad cells. So... That's what I was using, but now I have a new plan. YouTuber Mike's DIY Tesla Powerwall talked about using the, this tiny little module, that model, module there, which is a TP4056, which you can get ridiculously cheap off eBay or AliExpress, um, and these single battery holes, holders, um, and just using a whole bunch of those. Uh, and the benefit of those is that they will charge from one volt, so less fiddling around on my on my part to all those cells that are somewhere between one volt and two point eight, which is a good thing. So I bought um, I bought 20, 20, 20 battery holders, twenty of these, and. The plan, the new plan is to build a 20-way battery charger, 8650 battery charger, with a whole bunch of these, like that, and so on. Um, these are all powered from 5 volts. You can either plug into the USB or you can actually power it straight across here. So my plan is to wire them all up in, in parallel from a big... 20 amp DC power supply, 5 volts, and then um, it will be a 20 way individual charging setup. So that is my plan. Let's see how it goes. Okay, here we are two days later and I've finished the 20 ray charger. Been running it a few for a few days. I'm running it off this noisy old blade server power supply which can push 20 amps, which is good. Uh, at the moment it is only drawing 8 amps, which is interesting. I'll turn this off because it's just too too noisy. You'll notice I don't have one in this slot here, and um, when I had it running, the LED doesn't light on. That's because I made the mistake that I always make, which is I turned it, I put the a battery in the wrong way around, and these boards have no protection whatsoever. So when you turn, if you plug in a battery the wrong way around, it kills the board. <sighs> And I keep on doing that. Whereas this one, if you plug something in the wrong way around, a message comes up and says, hey, wrong polarity, or something like that. It tells you. And there's no harm done. You turn it around the right way, and um, away you go. When I had uh, all 20 running, it still only pulled 14, just over 14 amps, 
which means that each one of them is being charged at about 0.7 of an amp, not a full 1 amp. That's okay. So it's not quick, but it's gentle. It's quite amazing having 30 going all at the same time. It means that I can leave it, go to work, come back, and I've done, because I'm doing, again, because I'm doing pairs, uh, it means I've done, just done 60 cells in one block. And so every 24 hour cycle, I can do 120 cells, which is pretty fast. Me and my friend have been pulling batteries out of laptops and we have uh, a pile of under 2.8 so they can be done on the on this charger but not on this charger and then I've got a pile of uh, 3 volt cells I've already done a whole bunch of um, 4 volt and better cells um, so that's all good um, so this is good for charging from 1 volt up which is nice this is more foolproof which is good two quite good systems either one or both work fine they both charge batteries effectively thanks for watching catch you next time cheers